It's primary election day in South Carolina and the two remaining Republican candidates, Donald Trump and Nikki Haley are going head to head. DC correspondent Hannah Brandt is live from South Carolina with more. Hannah, thanks for joining us here. Yeah, Nabil, polls just closed here in South Carolina and former President Donald Trump is looking for a win tonight as he tries to wrap up the Republican nomination. But former Governor Nikki Haley tells me that she's just looking for enough support here to stay competitive. We're not slowing down. We're keeping our foot on the gas. Former President Donald Trump seems poised to beat former Governor Nikki Haley in South Carolina, adding another state to his primary election sweep. If you can't win here in your home state of South Carolina, where can you win? The point is, it's not about which state we're going to win. It's about the fact that 70% of Americans don't want the choice that they're being given. Haley argues voters don't want a Trump-Biden rematch, but Trump is laser focused on beating President Biden. Crooked Joe Biden, you're fired. Get out of here. And he's looking to rally support by convincing voters this election is high stakes. Our country is being destroyed, and the only thing standing between you and its obliteration is me. Trump's campaign is complicated by his various legal issues. They're trying to steal my liberty. If there's any shred of justice left, they will fail. But Haley says Trump is bound to spend more time in a courtroom than on the campaign trail. That's not how you win a general election. That's why Republicans won't win if Donald Trump is the nominee. So win or lose in South Carolina, Haley says she's staying in this race. We have a country to save, and I'm not going to stop until we do that. And we've just learned that AP is projecting Trump wins when all the votes are counted here. Nabil, back to you. Thank you, Hannah.